Howdy there, folks. Have you ever been fishing and wanted to catch a good fighting fish that keep you fishing for the rest of your life? Whoa, boy, we got a big shark! Real fish no further than a bullhead catfish. I'll show you all the equipment you'll need. All the baits to hook those godlike creatures. All the best places and times to catch up some bullhead. Just so you don't get stabbed by those fins, I'll show you the best way to hold and handle a bullhead. Head down to the lake. I know they're out there. Well, you need the right equipment to catch these marvelous fish. For the fishing pole, use a heavy duty or if you're broke, just get a normal one. Bullhead don't get that too big. The trophy size is just 14 inches. I recommend an egg sinker. The weight depends on the line and pole. If you're using a heavy duty, I recommend an 8 ounce egg weight. Or if you're using a normal pole, a 4 ounce is great. For hooks, you want to use a 4 circle hook because circle hooks are way harder for the fish to rip out of the mouth. For the reel, I recommend just a normal everyday reel for the normal rod, but for the heavy duty rod, get a heavy duty reel. For your line, you'll want a 1 through 10 pound line, but all that depends on the fish you're getting. Whoa! I got a shark! Ma, get the camera! I caught a shark! Wow! Now that you have your equipment, you cast your line and aren't getting any bites, reel in realizing you don't have bait. For baits, you'll want to use a variety of things. Just name a few. Worms, boilies, hot dogs, chicken liver, and bait fish. For worms, the most abundant bait there are is for better results, get Canadian night crawlers, which are three times the regular worm size. Boilies are the most used bait in cart fishing industry, but cart fishermen have stated that catfish love these things more than the carp do, especially the pomegranate flavor. Hot dogs are extremely good bait. All you have to do is just slide them on a treble hook and cast them out for best results. Chicken liver can be found in almost any store and extremely hard to get on the hook, so I recommend leaving it out for a few days until it gets fermented, then tying on the hook with the fishing line. Wait, what the heck? Bait fish is also a really good bait to use. Just hook the fish behind the fin and cast out with the bobber. Check with the state laws and regulations because some of the baits not mentioned on this list are illegal. You're wandering for hours trying to find the best spot to cast, but you have no luck. A lot of cover, like near trees, rocks, reeds, and underdocks. If you're fishing in a river, cast where the sides bend, or if there's an island in the middle of the river, Cast off the bank of the island. If you're fishing during the day, look for muddy, filthy waters. But if you're more of a night owl, you can just go fishing any time of the night. Because that's when catfish are more active. If you're fishing during the night, cast near the shore because that's where it'll gain more bites. But if you're fishing during the day, cast at the deepest part of the lake. Catch them with just a creature, but realize there's bones sticking out of it. The majestic creature wriggles and it gets cut. Truly people may say that truly people may say the whiskers stung you, but that's just not the case. Catfish has pectoral bones that stick out and they get duller as they stand by them. You have to put your fingers on them until it's poking through your ring finger and your middle finger. Forcefully hold the catfish so it doesn't wiggle around and hurt you ever again. Then we went over all the equipment you need and all the baits will get Sam! All the baits you'll need to catch yourself a trophy. Places and times to catch you a catfish and how to not get stabbed by a catfish.